Hey there, it's me again with my daily blog. Welcome to the Grey Man channel once again. Don't they look all cosy in this armchair? <laughs> right then, well, uh, oh yeah, I was going to do a couple of things today. Obviously the usual blog. Today I've been a bit... Oof. I had a little bit of a... Uh, kind of a day looking for jobs. Just got me, just like, oh, just got me down and uh, got me tense and uh, depressed and uh, anxious and all that kind of thing. But uh, you know, tomorrow's another day. <laughs> I had a little nap and uh, I got over it. But anyway, I've uh, got a couple of comics today in the post. Let me show you them first of all. Ah. Yes, I've got a couple of things coming here and there. Uh, I'm trying to cut down. Honestly, I am. I, I just uh, suddenly so it jumps in my head and I end up buying something. So these are nice anyway. Uh, I think they only cost me about I think they were four pound each. A couple of old Lois Lanes. I saw this and I just thought, oh, I've got to get that. And a bloke sent it to me in Mylar as well, so it looks nice. I think it's a Mylar, maybe a Mylite, I don't know. Uh, Lois Lane number 80, where she's ripping the girlfriend part off of the logo. So it no longer says Superman's girlfriend, Lois Lane. She's ripping it off the logo and tossing it on the floor. It's a really good cover. I love that. I love the style of the clothing. Get out of my magazine, Superman. I'm leaving Metropolis to start a new life. One that doesn't include you. At last, the impossible comes true. It's Splitsville for Lois and Superman. Oh no, not Splitsville. <laughs> awesome stuff. Look at that. I just like the action of it. As well, the way her skirt flows out, like you can see the like the dynamic, like you know, action of the uh, thing. I've no idea who did the cover. I am useless at covers and knowing people who I very rarely know the artist. I dare say someone can can mention in the comments down below. Uh, yeah, not Schaffenberg or something like that. Is it? I know he did a lot of these kind of artists. Right, and the other one I got, uh, Lois Lane One Twelve. I. I've lost Superman, he's turning into a tree! <laughs> now monthly, he's turning into a tree, poor old Superman. Uh, you know, Superman's got wood, but not in the correct not in the correct way. <laughs> Love the logo as well, actually. It's a different logo to the last one. I don't know, it's something, something funky and groovy about that Lois Lane logo there. And it's now monthly, only 25 cents, bigger and better. He had some more as well, but they were more, more expensive than this with these ones, like five pounds, six pounds. And I'm like, no, I'm gonna buy the two cheap ones. That's it, just these two cheap ones. And uh, look at his face, look at Superman's face in there. And I remember seeing that, it looks so haunted. It looks really haunted and quite, quite horrible actually, quite scary. That could make a, a horror cover for sure. Um, so what have, I been, what have I been reading? Uh, I finished off the, the little bit of uh, New Adventures of Superman, uh, Superboy that I had. I forgot, I've actually only put them away, so I can't give you a run through of what happened. But you know, he saved the world in various guises. And it was a bit confusing, because the one comic, his, his parents were dead. And then next, a couple of comics later, because obviously I haven't got the full run yet, his parents were alive. And I was like, well, what happened there? Is it going backwards and forwards in time? Or I didn't quite understand what happened with that one. And in one comic, it, one comic was really weird as well, because I'm sure I've read that story recently as a backup in a, in, a, in a Superman comic when he goes to college. He goes to college for the first time in Metropolis, first leaves um, um, Smallville. And I didn't have that comic. It, was, it wasn't another one of the same comic. So I'm sure it was a backup story in the, in the back of an action or something like that. So it was like a, so maybe it was a reprint. I was a bit surprised by that. I recognise that story. But anyway, that's uh, neither here nor there. And then I went on. To, I'm now reading Night Force. Uh, I bought these quite a while back. I, I you know it took me a while to get them together because what happened? I had number one, and I had I've had number one for ages. I don't know how many to pick up. Just just number one and none of the rest. So that was one of those one of the um ones that I put together, and it's, I've had it for quite a while now. The whole series, but I keep reading ones that, that loose ones that I picked up. So what I'm going to try and do now when I finish off this loot, I've got two big piles of comics. Um, I'll show you actually tomorrow. I'm going to do a room tour tomorrow. Uh, Aglax has been asking me to do it, so I do a room tour tomorrow. I've got a couple of piles of comics on my to read list. But and what I might try and do is get them read and then get I've got a couple of series that I've I've put together and I haven't got that to read them yet. I've got the Invaders still to read, I've got the Spider Woman still to read the first one. So lots of great reading to be getting on with anyway. So you know that's a good you can't you know you you won't see me uh you know 
down on down in the dumps because I've got too many comics to read. You know what I mean? It won't be going, oh no, I've got so many comics to read. What a pain in the ass! <laughs> it's rejoice. I've got all these comics to read. It's more like it. Anyway, so Night Force is pretty cool. I I maintain that Night Force was the precursor to Justice League Dark. It went Justice League Dark. Then I think it went Primal Force, which was again a similar kind of thing, but with more super powered people in it. And then it went to uh, Shadow Pact, which was you know even more super powered. People, powered people in it, a couple of B listers, uh, night fo uh, primal forces, more like C listers. So you went to non powered, non powered people, apart from maybe Baron Winters, uh, who you know has got some magic going on with him. You went from from them non powered, then he went to like some C listers, like the Claw, and uh, I think there was a Golem in the team. I can't remember who's in primal force now. Uh, and then from then it went to Shadow Pack. We had a few more, we had a few B listers, like you know Blue Devil. Uh, Detective Chimp, I suppose you could say he was a C-lister actually, or even a Z-lister. <laughs> Who else was it? I think a couple of characters they made up, especially for I think Sword Swordmaster, is it Swordmaster. Can't remember what his name is now. Can't remember, it might be Swordmaster. I can't remember his name. Is it's kind of like a magically. But anyway, now it's the Justice League Dark. So that's to me that's the the family tree of uh, Justice League Dark. This is the granddad, uh, Night Force, and it's got some cool art. Is it Gil Kane? I think it's Gil Kane, but it's really sort of dark and moody kind of art going on. And uh, there's no sort of superhero stuff. It's just that there is like a demonology, like they're trying to harness the power of evil. And this Van Vanessa Van Helsing, um, Jean Colon. Gene Colon, not Gil Kane. I see, I can't remember people's names. I told you I was useless. It's a bit really moody Gene Colon art. Let's see if I can find you a good panel. Oh, this is the one I've just read. <laughs> uh, let's see a good panel in this one. I'll just show you. It's just good dark stuff. Anyway, but there seems to be like a bit of um, shenanigans going on. There seems to be some kind of Russian agent who's who's he's taken, he's kidnapped Vanessa Van Helsing. Uh, the two guys that um, Baron Winters has um, sort of coerced to help, not coerced, but you know, he's got them to help him, kind of like, a little bit coerced, a little bit, but you know, he got them to help him anyway, they've, they've gone to London to try and chase Dan and find a Vanessa and they've just been shot, one of them has just been shot, anyway, uh, so that's that, now what I was going to do, I was going to do a competition entry uh, today, look at these lovely comics, look at them, look at them, are they beautiful, look at that one, look at that, Lois just looks gorgeous in that one, real, real classy lady, anyway, um, yeah, uh, Unruly Simeon. It is Unruly Simeon, isn't it? Yeah, I think I'm not confusing him with... I'm not confusing him with Gil Kane. <laughs> no, it's the Unruly Simeon's, yeah, just for the heck of it contest, isn't it? He's like, he wanted you to imagine if yourself... Uh, if you was a, like a... a you know, took the powers of a real superhero and, um, you know, was able to have them in the real world, no one else would have the powers to, what would you do, If you, what hero's powers would you take, how would you use those powers, that kind of thing, um, I saw Roger doing a good entry for this, which I was going to do like a flippant entry, like you know, just a bit of blase, a bit of joking, so, oh I'll be Star Fox, or, or maybe even the Mandrill, because they both have like a, charismatic powers over women like the mandrel even he can like more or less mind control women and i and like i said yeah just like blast a joke flippant kind of thing and that's only for a second i thought oh, that sounds really disgustingly like though yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you think about it properly it's like no no that's um that's not really what you want to do is it that's kind of like Ooh. <laughs> no so yeah i didn't go with that one and then i thought about um not quite superpowers but uh peter cannon thunderbolt he's um you know, he's a good fighter. He's got like a mastery of his body and mind kind of thing. He spent years in a uh, llamas, llamastery it was, uh, where the, the llamas live. <laughs> Not like llamas, the animals, but as like, like monks kind of thing uh, in Tibet, I believe. And, you know, he has p positive thinking. That's what I was thinking because I was like, today when I was feeling pretty depressed and down and negative I thought oh if I could just go I can I must I will or whatever his catchphrase is and you know manage to attain deeds uh, that I you know I don't feel I can do in real life <laughs> that would be quite a good one uh, but um, yeah I don't think that's actually got super oh, there's not actually superpowers though there's just like the you know the ultimate mastery of his own body power kind of thing and not just use that to just be <laughs> be less negative really and to get things done rather looking at things again oh, I can't be bothered <laughs> you know what I mean I see things like, well I could do that 
And he's like, oh, I could do that. And I just think, oh, there's too much to do. I'm just going to sit here instead and read some comics. <laughs> That's kind of how I am. Uh, but no, I thought I'd go with someone who's actually got some proper superpowers. Uh, a superpower that I've always wanted to have, kind of always wanted to have, teleportation. Because I'm a martyr to my feet. And like literally, I walk for a bit. I walk for five minutes, my feet are killing me. I walk for ten minutes, the pain's going up the back of my legs. I, or even standing still, I go to a gig, I stand, I stand, watch a band for an hour, the pain's got up to my back. You know, it's just all through my body. So just to be able to teleport, like I could just go, I just say, all right, all right, babe, just coming over now. <laughs> and instead of a walk to the, the train station, and then on a train to uh, one place, and then they get off that train, go to another train to another place, then walk to hers. She lives in a place called Forest Hill, which, as you uh, may guess, it's not actually foresty. It probably was foresty at one time, but the hill still remains, and I have to walk up the top of it. And it's just like, oh, carry me rucksack with me two laptops and me comics with me for the weekend or however long I'm going around there for. So, yeah, it's um, teleportation would be nice. <laughs> I could just go. Where's my phone? Oh, I'm gonna show you. There you go. Get my phone out. That's just for props. Hey, babe, just coming over now. <laughs> and poof, oh, there I am. And um, so I thought, well, what character? I'm trying to figure what characters have proper teleportation. I did mention Ambush Bug, bug once before in the previous competition. I said Ambush Bug could teleport me to um, to different comic shops on a, on a comic shop uh, LCS hunt. But he's kind of like quite limited with his teleportation. He's got these little these little bugs that fly out of his antennae and he can teleport to them. And um, yeah, I don't think that's really a superpower. It's more of a, I don't know, I think they're technologically based, aren't they? Those little um, bugs that he teleports to. But uh, so I've gone with, and I did a little search actually to think of what teleportation characters there are in either Marvel or DC. There's not an awful lot have like proper, I mean like you've got a uh, night um, crawler who does his like pfft, like a smelly cloud of uh, brimstone, which I don't think is going to be very good. If I arrive at my missus's and leave a massive stinking cloud of brimstone in her front room, well, to be honest, it'd be like a typical day for me. <laughs> but yeah, but she, she won't like it. <laughs> Not you and your clouds of brimstone again. Have you been eating Brussels sprouts? <laughs> yeah, no. Um, we won't go there. But um, I think I already have done there, haven't I? Oh well, never mind. But yeah, so I'm gonna go with a not particularly well known character called Gehenna. Gehenna, she used to be the girlfriend of Jason Rush. Uh, she was uh, half of the Firestorm Matrix with uh, with Jason. Uh, they were they were boyfriend and girlfriend for a time. But she has teleportation powers uh, when she's not being um, Firestorm. She also has telepathy. Now, yeah, I wouldn't mind having telepathy. To be honest, I think telepathy. I mean, I know it, it depends on on the level of control that you can have with the telepathy. Of course, I don't know what telepathy while I'm getting bombarded with like people's thoughts twenty four seven. Or yeah, you know, I want to be able. To, I want to be able to think about it. So that person there, I want to read their mind. It happens. You know, so if you're going to buy a used car or something, not that I have a hard drive, so I don't, but no, maybe you're going to get some comic, buy some comics from a dealer, and you'll be like, <laughs> how much is that comic worth? And he goes, ooh, and you can think to himself, and he goes, ha, 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 I'm selling him this really crappy comic. He doesn't know there's a page missing your number 17. <laughs> and I could be able to read that and go, no, you're all right, mate, you can keep your bloody comic. <laughs> that kind of thing. Yeah, I think, and... Uh, how would I use these powers? Obviously, teleportation to get from A to B. That's why I would use those powers. To be honest, if I had teleportation, I'd, I'd nip over and visit Roger in uh, in where he was Mississippi now he's living in me. And uh, various other people. I'd go and visit uh, Rayman the Silencer Man. I'd go and visit Harry's Lot Zlotto in Australia. That would be awesome. I'd have to tell them that I was flying there, though, because I probably wouldn't want them to know that I've got teleportation power. So I'll have to set up in advance. So, oh, yeah, I'm coming to Australia, actually. I could come, you know, and when I just, when it, no one's looking... I'll teleport to wherever I'm going. Uh, who else would I like to go and visit? I could go and visit live with two YouTubers. I could uh, I could bring my teddy bears. Hold on, let me just get my teddy bear. Ah. I could join up with Cade with my teddy bears and we can make a, a big film. <laughs> this is Rattle Ted. Because his head, he's got, his ears got a bell in it, so his head rattles when he when you when he head bangs. So he's rattled head. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> that's just an example. You know, there's probably other people who who would uh, like to me to visit them. Uh, I can't think of who, but there probably is. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so that would be cool. And while I'm there, I can use my telepathy to think to make to, <laughs> so I can find out if they actually like me or not. I go, what is that person? <laughs> no, not really. I'm not that insecure, am I? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I am. Anyway. Um, 
yeah, that's my contest entry. I think that's full, filled the contest entry requirements out. Yeah, now also I would use it to, I don't know, I might, t I might use my telepathy to, you know, check out politicians, to read their mind and know what dark things they've got in their blinking closets, you know? What what nasty, not, not, like, not things like, like, you know, if they're having an affair, I don't care, it's not on my bill, I don't give a toss if they're doing it, or if they're, you know, they're pretending they're straight and actually gay, I don't care, that doesn't fucking matter to me. I just, like, shit things, you know, like fucking, oh yeah, they're fucking corruption, that kind of thing, and they're being corrupt, or they're, you know, got some dark secrets, like they're a serial killer or something like that, you know what I mean? Nasty criminal things, proper criminal things, not like just for scandals, we're not going to go, oh, going to phone up the, the, the newspaper and say, oh yeah, they've got a, they've got a mistress, <laughs> I don't give a shit about that, <laughs> what adults, you know, but you know, just nasty things, and not just, you know, criminal, anybody really, you can probably, you know, Obviously, you'd have to get the uh, the uh, proof, the evidence, but you could read their mind for that. So if you know, so every now and again, I'll be walking down the street and I'll check out somebody's mind <laughs> just to see if they're, you know, if anyone I think's a bit suspect, I could read their mind. Oh yeah, that's what he did. Oh, and the evidence is where? Oh, okay, yeah, go. <laughs> but, you know, and then just sort of ring, ring. Heart, is this the police? I'd put a, a fake voice on, of course, or maybe I could telepathically. Get in touch with uh, someone in the police force. Hi, this is. Uh, um, I might call myself the Grey Man because the Grey Man is a good superhero name after all, <laughs> and it's kind of mysterious. And uh, I am the Grey Man. I am reaching my mind out to you to tell you about a villain who lives at number twenty-two Acacia Avenue. Get there now. <laughs> he's got a he's got a massive uh, room full of stolen comic books or <laughs> something like that. <laughs> anyway, that's what I'd do. I would be, I'd love to be a superhero. I've always wanted to be a superhero since I was a kid. I really would love to be a superhero. Yeah, but right. if I was a like, superhero, I'd like to be a strong superhero. Like, you know, cause I, wanna be, I want people to see me. I want to be out there and like in my colorful costume, rescue as a little kid. It was, like, it was always all about rescuing the damsels, <laughs> the grateful damsels, of course, you know, where that's when you're, you know, I've got, I'm happy with my damsel I have now, so I don't need that kind of power. <laughs> anyway, I've rambled on for too long already. I've probably, I don't know, disturbed a few people's minds. I don't know. Probably you'll think I'm some kind of... Yeah, they all knew I was a weirdo anyway, so I don't know why I would think that they now think that I'm a weirdo. <laughs> I'm off. I'm out of here. Before I go, though, I'm going to shout out a smaller channel. Uh, this is... Uh, I've shouted out this guy before because oh, he's a cool bloke. Uh, I can't remember what his actual name is now. What is his actual name? Tim, he's a Tim, isn't he? Yeah, he's definitely a Tim. Uh, Mylar Madness. He uh, Every Wednesday, like, uh, he does new comic book day because he works in the shop uh what's it called again uh nerd out comics in tampa florida uh all you floridians in the comic community you should go and visit him you should definitely add him uh you know sort of like his channel as well you know he did do other stuff on there before he used to go in he's got a massive comic vault loads of stuff and he used to, the first time i saw him he was doing a couple of videos about that but i haven't seen him do any videos about that recently and i see him do a stream once i think with jeff and um, he showed off loads of cool comics, but he doesn't seem to do them, um, enough of that. He's too much. I mean, I'd much more rather see him do old comic book stuff than like his new comic book day. But I think he's busy with his acting and all that other uh, projects he, he gets up to. Um, anyway, yeah, so that's it. Go sub Mylar Madness. I will put his link up in the corner. <laughs> so go and sub him up. Uh, show some sub love. Show some comic community camaraderie. And uh, yeah. I'm out of here. I'll be back tomorrow for day seven, is it? No, is this day seven? I can't remember. For the next day of my blog, I'll be back. Uh, and until then, may all your news be good news. Come and stop my madness.